I grew up doing a lot of hiking. My parents were very into camping and hiking. I love hiking. I didn't want a job where I was sitting. Most people are surprised to learn that tree marking even exists. A tree marker goes into the forest and marks trees for harvest. When I mark trees, the loggers can only cut the trees that are marked for them to cut. I have to know all of my tree species that are in the area where I'm working, and I need to know about tree diseases, and I have to know a lot about wildlife values and the importance of retaining those wildlife values. Bears actually, before they go into hibernation, they stock up on beech nuts because they have the highest amount of calories. I wanted to start a career in something that I knew I would love to do and I was passionate about. The equipment I use for my job is tree marking paint, a compass, a map, a GPS, and a prism. Some of the best advice I've received is always carry your map and your compass or you will get lost. Being a forest educator involves um, teaching people the, about the importance of sustainable forest management. People think, oh, it's awful to cut down those big old trees. It's awful to cut down all of those big old trees. Different trees need different amounts of sunlight in order to flourish, and some need to be harvested so that the others can regenerate. There's a, a number of very important steps. When I'm walking in the woods all day, I think about life. I look at the big picture and I think, what is this going to look like when it's all harvested and when it starts to grow up again? Being in the forest, I feel like I am a very small entity in that place and that my decision making is going to affect the future of that forest. I really believe that forests are the way that we're going to be able to survive. It takes a forest to sustain life.